Hey guys, today we're gonna to be drawing a mocha latte. If you're new to Procreate, I also have a tutorial called 25 Procreate Tips and Tricks, which is great to watch first because as I draw, I will be using these fast actions. I will link that video below. So I have my Procreate already open and this time I'm gonna have a textured background. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer and then you can see that this background is textured. And I'll link below where I got these textures from. She has a whole different variety of paper backgrounds, which is really cool when you're doing any type of watercolor art. So to get started, let's go into our layers panel. And you can see I have my paper effects at the bottom. Then I have my sketch and my color. So I'm gonna start off with a black and an HB pencil. And before I do anything, I just wanna enable my grid. So let's go to settings canvas and drawing guide. So let's draw the circle first, which is the outer rim of the cup. And as I always say to draw a perfect circle, don't let go of the Apple pencil and just tap anywhere on the screen and that will give you a perfect circle. And I'm just gonna shift this over a little bit to the left. And I just wanna make sure that I have the center of the circle on the left just on a line on the grid. So I know that I have equal parts on the top and equal parts on the bottom. And the reason for that is because we're gonna be drawing the cup handle. And I just wanna make sure that it's symmetrical. So my midpoint um, for this circle is right there. So now we can draw the handle. And I'm just gonna do a simple handle And now that we've got that done, we can turn off the grid. Okay, so now we're gonna start coloring the outer rim of the cup. And because it's white, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to see with this light paper. So I'm just gonna create a temporary new layer just above the paper and effects layer. And I'm just gonna do like a light gray. and that way I can see what I'm doing. So let's go into our color layer next. Select a white with a round brush. Just wanna see how thick that is. Okay, let's make it a bit thicker. I think I want it just a bit thicker like that. All right, so we're gonna do a circle. All right, so now we can get rid of the sketch layer just by unchecking it. And I'm just gonna clean up the handle a little bit. I think it might be a bit too long. So I'm just gonna erase some of it. All right. So next up, we're going to be shading the outer rim. So let's go into our color layer with the white and then we're gonna enable alpha lock just by clicking it and then hitting alpha lock. Again, this is explained in my 25 Procreate tips and tricks. Basically what alpha lock does, it allows you to paint within the object you just drew and not outside of it. And that's why you see that little transparent icon um, in the thumbnail. So we're gonna grab just a lighter shade of gray. And then we're gonna grab the airbrush. Just a bit thicker. And then we're just gonna shade the outer parts of the rim. Okay. 
And then over here on the handle, we can just do a little bit of shading on one side. And then using the airbrush tool with the soft airbrush, we can lightly go over and just blend. I'm barely putting any pressure on my pencil. All right. So let's uh, uncheck the gray layer. That's what we're left with. And then now we can begin coloring the drink. So let's create a new layer for that. And then we're just gonna do a base color. I've got one selected here. And this time I'm gonna go back to my round brush. Whoops. And we're gonna draw a circle again. And then we just wanna make sure that it's centered within the rim. I'm just nudging. And then just color drop into that. And then now we can use some textures and play around with some brushes. So I don't know if you have these brushes, but I'm pretty sure you can find something that Procreate has already um, put in as some defaults. So I'm just gonna go down to spray paints and I'm just gonna test out this brush. Grab a lighter shade of that mocha color. And again, this is all trial and error. You can find whatever brushes work for you. I'm actually also gonna enable alpha lock on this layer just to make sure I don't go past the edges. And the latte has like many different shades um, within the drink. So you can follow along or you can play around with your own variation. Here's another one called Flicks. Let's see how this works out. That looks pretty cool. You can even lighten it a little bit. And if you don't like anything, you can just blend it with the blending brush. Here I'm just blending. And you can always use new layers as you build, um, just so that everything isn't just mushed together and you can edit each layer as you need to. So I am gonna create a new layer, and then here we could do the latte design. I'm just gonna use an airbrush, and I got my white there. So I'm just gonna turn my canvas like that. All right, so let's go into the adjustments panel and then go into blur. And as you can see, uh, the percentages change as I move my finger along. So I'm gonna do maybe a 10%. Okay, so to make this look a little bit more realistic, we're going to be darkening the edges um, inside of the cup. So let's grab um, this color here. So to grab it, just hold, the eyedropper will pop up and it will show up on your color palette. So let's pick a darker color 
And then we wanna make sure we're in that layer. And make sure your alpha lock is on. And this kind of acts um, kind of like a shading almost. I'm just gonna grab just a darker color. Possibly even more with the red undertone. And then as you go along, it can get a little bit thinner with the shadowing. All right, and then we can just, you know, throw some shadow in in other places as well. And I also just want to add a little bit of more texture. So let's go to the glitter. Where are you glitter? Okay. I'm going to try this pure dust. Let's see how this looks. Don't want too much of that. Just lightly. And then we can try these flicks over here. This time I'm going to grab just a darker mocha again. Trying to simulate some bubbles. Might be a bit too heavy. And really, it's just about layering all of these effects. Just blurring again. And I don't know if you've noticed, but this cup looks too clean. So we're kind of gonna dirty up the edges a little bit. Um, let's create a new layer for that. And then we're gonna grab this dark brown mocha. And this time I'm gonna grab a different type of brush. This one's under pastels. And I'm gonna try the medium dull pastel. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, we're just gonna lightly go around the edges. And then we're gonna blend this all in after. I'm wondering if I create a circle, if that might work. Okay, let me try that. Again, everything is just an experiment. I'm gonna increase my brush size. Okay, that might be a bit too thick. That kind of sped up the process. All right, so now we're going to uh, get the blending brush. And if I just uncheck this layer, you'll see what we just did. I just wanna just blend this because the edges were just a bit too stark. I mean, we can also um, erase it. Just use the airbrush eraser. I'm just gonna lightly do that. All right, and then we can turn that layer back on. And that looks a little bit better. So you can see, you know, um, the cup isn't that clean now. You got a little bit of dirt going around. And I think I just wanna add just a little bit of more white specks. So I'm back into my glitter brush. Uh, I don't know how much I want and where I want. So I'm just gonna do just a row here and a row on the outside. Gonna lightly blend that. And then um, we're gonna create a shadow. So let's grab the rim and then we can undo the alpha lock. We're gonna duplicate that. We're gonna grab the one underneath. Then we're gonna go to the adjustments, hue, saturation, brightness, and make that really dark. And then just 
smooth that down like that. And then we're gonna go back to the adjustments panel and then we're gonna blur it. Hope you're following along, I'm not going too fast. And then we're gonna decrease the opacity. Just like that. I think I wanna blur it just a tad more. And just decrease that a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna delete any unnecessary layers. And then I just wanna group them by swiping to the right. And then hit group. And now you've got them all in a group. And then I'm just gonna move them into the center. All right, guys, there is your mocha latte. To get notified of more new videos where I teach you to draw, be sure to subscribe to Draw With Marina.